Hi and Assalamualaikum. My friends and I from Group 3 will briefly explain of the case study 24 that is Johnson & Johnson. Now, me, Aiman Shera will be explain on the company background first. First of all, Johnson & Johnson, JJ, was founded in 1886 by three brothers that named Johnson. The company grew slowly for a generation before Robert Wood Johnson too rectally decided to take the family business to it pub public. Johnson & Johnson is also a diversified multinational corporation consisting of over 260 different companies with operation in the pharmaceutical, medical devices and consumer product industries. The company is also known for its entrepreneurial culture and commitment to its credo, which prioritizes the responsibility to patient and physician, followed by employees and communities. Besides that, Johnson & Johnson also focus on women's health, that including maternal child health, reproductive health, uh, and breast cancer awareness and treatment with operates in more than 60 countries with over 135,000 of employees. The company also has a good reputation for financial stability, reflected by AAA credit rating and has a customer-based spending from consumer to hospitalization to its government. However, the company uh, also has struggled in many ways to find uh, in managing its vast portfolio of diversified business and has recently pushed for more collaboration among its different unit. For further explanation of this case study will be continued by other presenters. Hi, right now I will talk about the case study. The case study discussing about the distancerized culture of Johnson & Johnson and the challenge faced in managing its vast portfolio in diversified business. JJ has given considerable autonomy to each of subsidiary to develop and execute their own strategies, which has allowed for a consistent level of high performance. However, there have been grown concern about the need of increasing collaboration among the different units as opportunity to combine the areas of expertise have been missed. The former CEO, William C. Weldon, Recognize the need of collaboration, what has carefully not to squish the entrepreneurship spirit that has been spearheaded most of the growth of the business today. He encouraged better communication and coordination among the JJ disparate operation. With the aim of developing synergy between the unit, he created the operate office that would get the business unit to work together on promising the new opportunities, recognizing the coverage would allow JJ to do things that hadn't than before. Despite the benefit of decentralized management, concerns have been arise about the need of greater collaboration among JJ different business. After Alex Goski took over the CEO in 2012, he pushed harder to work together the operational of the different unit. The task has become more challenging as JJ has grown into the technology complex enterprise made up the over 260 different subsidiaries that have been broken down into three different divisions. Overall, the case study highlights the difference between autonomy and collaboration in managing a diversified portfolio of business. JJ, which prioritizes the need of patient and healthcare, he keeps the firm focused on the core mission, even if it expands into several different business segments. Thank you. Let's go in deeper on business strategy. We have analyzed the case study and conclude that Johnson & Johnson applied to focus strategy. In general, there are two elements in focus strategy, which is cost focus and differentiation focus. The cost focus, which is where the business try to attract customers based on pricing. Cost focus exploits differences in cost behavior in some segments. Johnson and Johnson strive to improve access, affordability, create healthier communities, and put healthy minds, bodies, and the environment within the reach of everyone everywhere. They adopt this strategy in terms of low cost and offering the best value. The low-cost focus method is being used by 
meeting, a particular market segment needs at the most affordable cost while the best value focus strategy emphasize the flavor, size and design of the product that may most effectively meet the demand and requirements of the customers. Not just that, there are three main categories in Johnson & Johnson product, which are health products, med tech, and pharmaceutical products. All of the products are offered at affordable price rather than its competitors. By using this strategy, Johnson & Johnson wanted to conquer the healthcare product industry by offering the affordable price to its target market. It said in the article that Johnson & Johnson have top notch products in each of the areas which is which it operates. For example, Johnson & Johnson focused on four areas which are demographics, geographic, psychographic and behavioral. In deeper, Johnson's baby care target young parents in psychographic segmentation which is the brand's Neutrogena market itself by being recommended by the dermatologist. Next, we will look up to the differentiation focus strategy. It is an approach that requires targeting a small group of consumers with unique offers to product of service. The contribution of differentiation focus strategy has impacted Johnson & Johnson by exploits the special needs of buyers. It has been portrayed in Johnson & Johnson products which has gotten the greatest number of patents products. Johnson & Johnson successfully formulated and titled a no motive formula. The safety comfort has been the most priority in Johnson & Johnson products. Instead of using soap and alcohol, they use other various harmless chemicals in its products. Also, their products go through rigorous clinical testing to ensure the highest quality standard in baby care. Johnson & Johnson is a well-established brand whose products portfolio has been divided to three segments like consumer products, pharmaceutical and equipment related to medical industry. In addition, Johnson & Johnson also differentiates itself in its target market. In this health conscious world, the company has earned trust of its consumer by supplying natural products that do not have any chemicals. So much so, many hospitals have been giving out the special baby products to the new mothers who leave the hospital with their babies. This is a very smart scheme as the product gains the mother's trust at early stage. Hence, the mother generally continues to use the products. That is all from me. I'll pass the presentation to the next person. As for the competitive advantage, this strategy definitely helps in adding Johnson & Johnson's branding. It is because, even though they offer affordable products, they still produce top-notch products that win the customers' hearts. In fact, Johnson & Johnson had to spend 12 million of its sales on about 9,000 scientists working on their research laboratories around the world. Subconsciously, Johnson & Johnson producing good quality and affordable products may upgrade their image and gain customers' trust. Gaining customers' trust may help them to sustain themselves in the industry for a long time as to aid their branding. The second competitive advantage is creating value. The main benefit of focused differentiation strategy is an opportunity to create value. When a business focuses on a small group of customers, it can provide more qualified services than its competitors. By creating a unique selling point, a company can charge the product at a premium price and increase the revenue. The company can also avoid competing price and establish a reputation for delivering exceptional customer products or services. Now we move on to the corporate level strategy for Johnson Johnson Company. Generally, the corporate level strategy identifies the direction that a company should take including value or synergy to diversification initiatives. Based on the case study, Johnson & Johnson has pursued related diversification because uh, Johnson & Johnson company has depended extensively on acquisition to grow a company, which are mainly classified as belonging to the healthcare industry. Over the years, uh, Johnson & Johnson has grown into a complex enterprise with over 260 subsidiaries that focus on three different divisions which are consumer products, 
pharmaceutical and medical devices. According to the related diversification strategy, a company can lift benefits from the horizontal relationship or the diversification from the related businesses. However, it has become a challenge to Johnson & Johnson to obtain the benefits like sharing core confidence in the adopt decentralization method to its divisions. The decentralization method offers the divisions freedom in executing their own strategies leading to less collaboration between different units. Hence, it has resulted in no synergy and accessibility overhead costs to Johnson & Johnson. Therefore, to overcome this challenge, Johnson & Johnson has taken steps to improve communication and more regular collaboration between divisions in order to create value and achieve synergy to the business. Furthermore, from this uh, diversification, the vertical integration that Johnson & Johnson has adopted is backward integration. This is because Johnson & Johnson emphasizes on diversifying their products, closing to their production, which gives them more authority over their early manufacturing stages. Despite the quality issues of Johnson & Johnson talcum powder, they have work to gain more of the site's overall units in order to have a better control in the upstream to produce high produce their own high quality products. Next, the methods used by Johnson & Johnson are mergers and acquisition, joint venture and strategic alliance. The first method is mergers and acquisition where Johnson & Johnson purchased organizations that participated in several elements of healthcare whereas Johnson & Johnson merged healthcare with medical devices. Next, Johnson & Johnson used joint venture approach to form a partnership with a few other businesses to combine resources. Lastly, they also used strategic alliances method to engage with entrepreneurs and uh, scientists outside the business. Now we move on to competitive advantage in corporate level strategy. The first one is merger and acquisition. The first advantage is that it will help Johnson & Johnson develop synergy. Synergies are typically described as 1 plus 1 equals to 3, which means the sum of two companies working together will need to make something far more powerful. This synergy can allow them to show a consistent level of high performance in their business so that they can they could gain more. Next is Johnson & Johnson able to enter a new market. In this case study, it benefits Johnson & Johnson as they get to accelerate their own developments and growth by getting the firm's intry into surgical robot from acquisition of Auris Health. Now, let's talk about the competitive advantage gained by doing joint ventures. One of the main advantages is that it can help Johnson & Johnson business to grow faster, increase the productivity, and also can generate greater profits. Moreover, a company may be able to join forces together by exchanging their skills and specialties. Through the case study, uh, Johnson & Johnson has a joint venture with Apple that is to create a watch that can provide better data on credit issues. This can lead to providing each other's expertise, which is Johnson and Johnson is a health company. Thus, by collaborating with Apple, which is a technology company, could make a product which would be useful. Moreover, uh, they can get to access to a new market and distribution network. Another benefit is flexibility. For example, a joint venture can have a limited lifespan and only cover parts of what they do. Thus, it will limit the commitment for both parties. On the other hand, Strategic Alliance also brings its competitive advantages to the company. Every year, Johnson & Johnson has entered into hundreds of strategical alliances and this has benefited them as they get to share best practices, share research initiatives and many more besides through adopting strategic alliances between their divisions where well, they believe there will convergence to allow the company to venture to new things. On top of that, Johnson & Johnson has fostered better communication and coordination allowing companies to strive more efficiently. Strategic alliances also help to better understanding of the company in terms of product, marketing and knowledge or ever more on that. Hence, can increase speed to the market. To conclude with the matter use it, 
will help Johnson & Johnson continue to remain as a very prosperous and competitive company as they will gain so many advantages to it. Now, I will pass my slide to Fakrul. This is the plan of work for our group throughout 9 weeks of discussions. On the first two weeks, we had formed a group, identified the leader and chose the company to be discussed in the case study which is Johnson & Johnson. Throughout third until seventh week, we had conducted several group discussions through physical and online meetings as well as to organize the idea on what to be presented. After having such discussions, we had delegated to each of the group members the slides that they have to prepare and to be reviewed by the group leader throughout week 7 and week 8. After the slides have been prepared, we consulted to our lecturer and made revisions after the consultation. And on the last week, we submit the video presentation the slides as well as the gun chart to our lecturer, Madam Emiza, on 30th May. That's all for our group. Thank you.